As promised, this is a response to my um, OSX 10.5.2 video. Um, these are just the the quick features that I've noticed uh, so far um, with the update. If we head on over up here, you will now see, as default, you will see the um, time machine um, status inside your menu bar. So if you click on that, obviously my time machine is not configured right now. Um, it allows you to browse other disks and open Time Machine Preferences. If you go to Time Machine Preferences, it now says Show Time Machine in Status Menu Bar. And obviously if I untick that, it disappears from over here. So I take that back and it's back again. But obviously if I don't have Time Machine set up, I don't want to see it. Um, the next thing which all of you will probably like the best is if we go over here to desktop and screensaver. Click on that. And then along the bottom here, you'll now see a checkbox next to translucent menu bar. If you uncheck this, if you notice now, you can't really notice with my background because it's quite dark. So if we have a before shot, and if I uncheck this, you can kind of see that it's no longer translucent. I'll change my background actually. Um, because you'll better see it. See, now it's yellow, well, yellowish, so it's obviously translucent. I'll uncheck this selection, and now it's back to the good old leopard bar. But I actually like the translucent bar, so I'm going to keep that. Uh, this desktop actually was um, as a result of watching one of uh, Ramin's videos, I'll link his channel on the side. Um, and if you watch his video, you'll find out where to get this. I'll put it back to mine there. Um, so, oh, and the last thing actually, before I forget, is obviously if if you use stacks, it's one of the the the, the buzzed features of um, Apple's Leopard operating system. If we now right click, or um, if you've got a one button mouse Alt click, you'll get a selection now. You'll see fan and grid which is what we used to see fan was obviously the little uh, tower of um, objects and grid was the big block of objects now we have list so if we choose list if we go down into my application stack and click list you'll now see that it's a big long list of applications um, which a lot of people were asking for this because it takes up less space than having your entire screen taken up and it's also similar to um, a drop down so let's say if you have these then it will it will go into all of these so this is actually pretty cool um, and I think these are all just different languages um, so yeah this this is I might actually start using this which is pretty interesting um, so if you see that if you go utilities and it'll open up, so it's actually gonna rather than having to go through Finder, it's gonna make it a lot quicker for you to do, um, and it's sort of reminiscent of these drop down menus, so it's basically carrying the theme throughout. Um, so that's quite interesting. So uh, at the moment, I think that's pretty much it, um, because a lot of the fixes were in the background. So. Um, the network settings are obviously they're configured to I think there's some compatible issues they used to have now they're more compatible better stability that's my network there um, if you want to find out how to get the Apple symbol in there actually which is quite interesting um, I'll give you a quick tip of that as part of my videos it should be up soon um, so yeah like I said this is just a quick video response of the main visual changes um, for Mac OS X 10.5.2. Uh, if you enjoyed watching, please subscribe.